medical studies, alternative medicine manuals, great literature, super collection. If it's for a regular checkup, the doctor's offices are behind the reception area. What about going back to your room? If you like, I can go and ask Dr. Mangling to come get you. I've been waiting for my appointment for hours. I'm here to see my husband. He's been here months and months. Ah, that's bad luck. I missed the last funicular. Do you know why Dr. Efimova locked down the clinic? Mention of a safety measure from what I heard. Apparently one or two patients were wandering about. But I've finished work. What can I do until the funicular is running again? I wanted to go to the tavern for lunch. Today's the day when that cute Sarah Steiner is working. But it's completely crazy. They closed everything down. Just like that. Trapped. At this time of day, Dr. Zemi and Teen should be available. No way I'm going back upstairs. You will find Dr. Olga hard at work in her office, Miss Walker.
All that I have left of dear Oscar. The funicular is out of service until further notice. The American is awake. You must hurry, Colonel. Hmm. How is she doing? Miss Walker is rather restless. I had to administer a tranquilizer, but I'm afraid I won't be able to keep her here for very long, Colonel. She is very quickly going to become a problem. Kate Walker will always represent a problem for us, and also for our cause, Dr. Olga Efimova. I can use methods that are more... How should I put it? Medical. No. Not for the moment. That isn't a very good idea. I want her back in good condition. And what about the tribe of nomads? Just like the past two years, Leg Valsambor hasn't frozen over. So the herd can't cross the ice. They're stuck here. And also, their young guide is still in our... If everything goes as planned, Soon, the Yukuls will have no choice but to go back home. Especially as I have a plan to speed things up. Fine. There's also the American detective, Colonel. He should be arriving soon. Let him meet with Miss Walker if that's what he wants to do. No point alarming him just yet. But when all is said and done, we're the ones who are handling the young woman's case. No American is going to come here and tell us what to do. What? Where did she go? Hello, Miss Efimova. I'm here to see you too. Kate Walker! It really is you! What a coincidence. I've been looking for you for weeks. Uh, Mr. Canton, I presume? Ah, I see that my reputation precedes me. Miss Efimova must have told you I was coming. No, I just now learned of your existence, Mr. Canton. A while ago, my employer in New York informed me that he was going to stick a detective on my back. I don't like to boast, but I'm the best detective on the East Coast. Never a problem with me. I've been asked to bring you back home safe and sound, Miss Walker. I should be in Valsambor in a few hours. I'm sorry to disappoint you, Mr. Canton. I'm sure that finding me hasn't been easy. Oh, my God. You have no idea. I'm afraid this might upset you, but I'm not planning on going back to the United States for the moment, Mr. Canton. To be honest, you don't really have a choice. The U.S. Justice Department is looking for you, and I even have an international arrest warrant for you, Miss Walker. Who'd have thought? The feds are looking for me? But what's the charge? I've done nothing wrong. 
Embezzlement! Apparently you took off with the contract for the sale of the clockwork toy factory in Vorlberg. And you took advantage of the seller's senility. You're even suspected of being responsible for the death of one of them. A Mr. Hans Vorlberg, the last heir, authorized to sign contracts with the company you represented. That's not negligible. You know, Miss Walker. This is completely ridiculous. And as far as I know, you aren't authorized to represent the Justice Department in this country. You're just a detective. So you'll have to put up with it, Mr. Canton. I'm not going back to New York with you. So leave me alone. Wait, Miss Walker. Please be reasonable. Goodbye, Mr. Canton. All sorts of sedatives and tranquilizers. Charming. Hurry up. Yes, Dr. Elfimova. I'm doing whatever I can. Get this damn tap open in the end, you'll see. Well, that should convince the Yukul scum to strike camp and go back where she came from. Come on, Helmet. Let's not hang about here. Yes, of course, Dr. Ethanova. An old gas can, empty. What a catastrophe! Too 
dangerous without some kind of receptacle underneath. This thing is stuck. Miss Catwalk, help, please! Engenemuk, Engenemuk! Tuk Tuk! Big Colet! Miss Catwalk, Sen Venu, Tuk 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 Tuk! Minimir Buruf! I wanted to warn you, your ostriches mustn't drink the river water. It's important. They can get really sick. Buruth still find way to keep some. But snow ostriches always want and need much, much water. Or they get very sick too. Try to hold them back as long as possible. There must be a way to filter the river water. Ungenemuk, but Miss Ketwalk go quickly. Miss Ketwalker. Uh, hello, ma'am. <laughs> you remember me, Miss Kate Walker. Me, Ayahuasca. Great Yukul Shaman. Me go there and find you somewhere there in the world of the spirits. So you're the one I owe my life to, Madam Ayahuasca. It's you who cared for me before taking me to the doctors in the Valsambor Clinic. I don't know how I can ever thank you. Tuk tuk tuger. Miss Kate Walker go clean river water right up there. 
since she traveled long time in Magic World. Spirits now her friends. They will show her the right path. I, very well. If you say that the spirits are going to give me a hand, I, I'll try to do that. Ladies and gentlemen of the spirit world, if you want to show me the way, now's the time. Just had to ask, I guess. gauge is obviously for measuring the water flow from the dam. The water is clean now, but who knows how much damage has already been done.
First guide not come back here. Now all water poisoned. Not good signs. Bairdla, Miss Ketwalk. Thanks you and spirits. Ostriches saved. Be careful all the same, Mr. Burut. The dam filtering the water may not hold very long. Sa! You calls leave here fast to make sure Ostrich is safe. But not possible without Kirk. Him our guide. I just came from the clinic. Kirk and I shared a room. Sa! How going, Kirk? He's fine. Don't worry, Mr. Barut. Duke. So why him not come back with you? It's taking a while to finish his artificial leg. It would seem. No, Kirk. Yukols cannot leave here. So ostriches want continued journey without Yukols. Can't keep ostriches here very long. Ostriches cross Lake Valsambor alone. And then eaten by lake spirits. Duke. The ostriches crossing the lake, so that has to be a part of the migration? Duke, Duke. Baranur, on other side of lake, is path of sacred plains. Ostriches lay eggs in hot sand on sacred plains. But lake, not any more frozen, so not be able cross. Listen, Mr. Barut, do your best to calm your ostriches while I go to Valsumbur. I promised Kirk to go get his prosthesis and bring it back to him. Bartla, Bartla, Tuk, Miss Ketwalk, you friend of Yukol's. I'm going to speak with the shaman now. Ayahuasca will be very happy. See Miss Ketwalk. She go with you and around you a lot in world of spirits, so they free you. You not die because of her. I don't understand why the mayor put the Yukos on our doorstep like that. I can go inside this yurt. What a pretty pattern. I had the time to take a little nap. Business not so good. Authorities become hostile. The Yukal craftsmen must make these statuettes by the dozen. What an amazing jumble. Not at all like New York markets. When you get into Valsambor, 
Drop by my tavern. It's got the best food in town. Superstitions seem pretty firmly in place here. Sinister. Ha! Miss Kate Walker. You have good news? To be honest, nothing great. Kirk, your young guide, is in the hands of Olga Efimova. That woman has the director of the clinic, Dr. Zamiatine, under her thumb. She also seems to be in tight with a shady soldier. These people hate you, Ayahuasca. They can't stand your way of life. They're the ones who poisoned your ostrich's water. I think they're also holding up Kirk's prosthesis to keep him in the clinic and stop you from continuing your migration. People not like Yukels now. Yukels out of date. Tuk tuk. <laughs> if Yukels without guide, not able to continue great voyage. Return to north and never leave again. And then ostriches die. Well, hold on. We're not at that stage yet. I promised Kirk I'd go to Valsambor to bring back his mechanical leg. Oh, magic leg not only problem for you girls. <laughs> If the lake doesn't freeze, your herd won't be able to cross it. I suppose your ostriches can't really swim. It also seems to me that the lake really has a bad reputation. Miss Walker see very clear. <laughs> now many very, very bad spirits on lake and also after. Baranor. Baranor very dangerous. Bad luck. Bad luck everywhere. Ayahuasca very, very scared. There may be another way to cross the lake, instead of waiting for it to freeze. I'll find out when I visit Valsambor. Why Miss Kate Walker decide to do all this for us? You're treated like pariahs. I'm disgusted by how everybody sees you here. Miss Kate Walker and Yukels are friends. So Miss Kate Walker decide accompany Yukels on great journey? We'll see. First I have to go to Valsambor. But like you, I seem to be a prisoner in this camp. Yukels not have right to go to Valsambor now. Miss Kate Walker like them. Now she must find pass so that she able to leave here. I was told about everything your tribe did for me when you found me. Thank you so much. Miss Kate Walker cured. That's what counts. Job of ayahuasca. <laughs> yeah. Strange the lake taking so long to freeze. This must be a consequence of global warming. Bad spirits at bottom of lake make water very hot. Really nasty bad spirits everywhere now. <laughs> Where can I find a pass so I can leave the camp? Before, Yukels could make use of pass machine in cabin at camp exit. But authorities decide break it in small pieces so now we cannot use. Miss Kate Walker should ask client tourists in Valsambor. I'm going to try to find the pass that you told me about. Miss Kate Walker, go quickly! A hide? Must be for making clothing.
What a strange sculpture. Looks like a kind of octopus or squid. Give you my pass to enter the city, and then what next? And how am I getting home if I give you my town pass? Keep moving. Before Eucles could always use Stampede Cabin. Then hey, visit down. What an amazing jumble. Not at all like New York markets. Sir, excuse me. Hello, miss. You're not actually from here. I can hear it. What on earth is a young American doing in our beautiful land? Business? Or perhaps tourism? Oh, it's a long story, believe me. I see. In any event, you must try and visit our town. You know, Valsambor is very charming this season. And may I suggest you drop by my tavern? It's the best restaurant in town. Well, I'd love to, but unfortunately I learned that now I need a pass to get into Valsambor. I'm looking for someone who can help me get one. Ah, yes, that's true. That's a pain it is. But you're actually in luck. I may be able to do something for you. This is my wife's pass. She's not well, so she couldn't come with me. The document is perfectly valid, except she forgot to get it stamped at the town hall. And... that's a problem? I'm afraid so. Without the stamp, the document is worthless. Not that long ago, you just needed to get it officially stamped at the police checkpoint, over there at the camp gate. But there hasn't been anybody there since the town decided to come down hard on the U-Calls. So this pass is useless? Not necessarily. You need to add a stamp that looks like the official Valsambor seal. The police aren't that sharp-sighted around here, I have to admit. Anyway, I didn't say a word. Good luck, miss. And don't forget to drop by my tavern when you're in Valsambor. not to feel intimidated. A checkpoint for the municipal employees. Stop! You may not pass. Uh, may I ask why not? Miss, as the inopportune loitering of the Yukal nomads in town was proving to be disturbing the tranquility of the inhabitants, <gasps> May a bulletin has ordered access to Valsambor to henceforth be restricted to those presenting a duly stamped pass, which confers the authorization to access said town. Sir, I really don't think I represent a danger for Valsambor. Plus, I'm not a yukal. My dear young lady, your physiognomy is not sufficient. Only presentation of said municipal pass shall be acceptable. Listen... I really need to get into town. Without a pass, you shall not pass. Do I really need a pass? Indispensable. 
So cease arguing and keep moving. Stamps. But not one is the right shape, of course. Nothing useful here. A stamp? Looks like something's missing, though. There's a shape ingrained in the leather. Ostriches always need lots of attention. Lots, lots. Unukmak. A squid lying in a puddle of ink. Poor creature. So that's the famous lake that won't freeze anymore.
Hello. You look muck, Miss Kitwalk. Need something from Forge? Well, yes, I do. I need a stamp that has the same shape as the Valsambor seal and that I can use with the press at the camp gate. Complicated. Need model. Tuk tuk. You have that, Miss Kitwalk? Miss Kitwalk, bring much much junk for Smith. Complicated, complicated. Smith also need wax for mold. Good job. Step ready in not long time. Hello. Ha ha! Kunuk Mak? Miss Caterwalk? Like collect souvenirs? Well, that sculpture there. Ha <laughs> ha! Kilak! That great spirit, very bad, Miss Catwalk. Evil monster of water in Great Lake. Oh, I see. It's a representation of a local legend. Ha <laughs> ha! Not legend, Miss Catwalk. Kilak. Very great, very bad. Live at bottom of lake. If the monster really existed, wouldn't he have attacked your ostriches when you tried to cross the lake to continue your journey? You calls always cross in day. Kilak not like day and light. Always when lake frozen. Kilak not be able to cross ice to eat ostriches then. But now, lake still not frozen. Ostriches impatient. Not good, not good. Kirk being gone so long really has you worried, doesn't it? Kirk, sacred guide. No guide, so not great journey. Miss Ketwalk comes with news about Kirk. His treatment is weakening him, but he was fine when I left. Ah, Kirk come back very fast. Or not good good. So, how's business? Tuk Tuk. No more client tourists here. No more like you calls in Valsambor. Not good for business. Why don't they like you here? You call stuck staying too long in Valsambor. Not good. Must leave fast. One of you repaired a key to help me escape the clinic. Was it you? No. Smith, over there. Goodbye, and thank you for all the information. Okay, Miss Getwalk. Bye-bye, uh...
have to find a way to attach the stamp or it'll fall out again. find a way to attach the stamp or it'll fall out again. I have to find a way to attach the stamp or it'll fall out again. Only the stamp is missing. How practical. doesn't work. There's a shape ingrained in the leather. There's a shape ingrained in the leather. I have to find a way to attach the stamp or it'll fall out again. Miss Walker. Very happy to finally catch up with you. Mr. Canton, what on earth do you want? To take you back home, whether you like it or not. Come on, give me your hands, please. Mr. Canton, I don't know how much the people who hired you promised for delivering me to them. But if it's only a question of money, maybe... Stop right there, Miss Walker. You're being a tad insulting. 
Listen, my professional integrity has never been in doubt in over 20 years of work. Come on! Wrists out! Mr. Marson? Finally! I have her. Yes, she is safe and sound. I have Miss Walker under control. I'll keep you informed of our progress. It'll take a day or two at most. I suppose there are a few procedural obstacles to overcome before we can leave the country. Listen. All these things I'm accused of are completely untrue. Hans's murder, embezzlement, it's nonsense. And while we're wasting time here, I can't help the Yukels. And believe me, they really need it. I am not your enemy, Miss Walker. If you haven't done anything like you say, it's in your interest to go back and defend yourself in court. There's nothing left for you to do here anyway. Not everyone here is your friend in these parts, I'm afraid. Well, Miss Walker? Well, all right, Mr. Canton. You win. I'm glad you're finally being reasonable, Miss Walker. Now we just need to wait for the representative of the regional military authorities for the administrative procedures. I don't think it'll take long to get our papers, so we can leave this place then. How long do we have to wait? I've been through a lot over the last few months, you know. I'm recuperating. I'm still a bit weak. Well, uh, it could take a few hours at the outside. Would you mind bringing me a glass of water? I... I don't feel too well. I feel a bit dizzy. I'd have to leave you here in the meantime. I'm not sure that... Please, Mr. Canton. I really think I'm going to faint. Don't worry, Miss Walker. I'll see what I can do. But don't move. Quick! I have to get free and get out of here while Canton is busy. A glass bottle. Maybe if I knock it over. Get out of here before Canton comes back. Miss Walker! No, wait! I have an arrest warrant for this woman. Arrest her!
Immediately, you hear? 